Our supporting couples on Outlander always manage to expand and bring a new flavor to the show and often offer up entire storylines and issues that would otherwise remain unexplored. And while I've had loads to report this past year on Lauren Lyle and even some interesting bits on Richard and occasionally Sophie, I've really left out quite a bit about Caesar Domboy, though not on purpose. I attempted a deeper dive into what he's been up to and found I had one small issue. I don't speak French. And yes, most news specifically about our Fergus Fraser is often reported in French. But fret not, I found a few things and I'd like to start with something many of us will have access to, and that is No Limit on Netflix, released last year. This story features Roxanne Aubrey, who decides to drop her studies and escape her life in Paris for a free diving course in the south of France. She's quickly pulled into a life that reaches new depths brought by the weight of an ocean's descent. But if the story seems all wet, maybe you'd prefer something drier, as he's also part of SAS Rogue Heroes appearing on Canada Plus and Epics, and he was kind enough to share some behind the scenes fun from the filming. That sure is a lot of sand, but it looks like the cast and crew kept entertained during filming and had a good time. Now, the show itself, well, it reads as follows. It's a BBC series based on Ben McIntyre's best-selling book, SAS Rogue Heroes. The series tells the remarkable tale of how the SAS came to exist in North Africa during World War II. And since we are all here for the love of a historical dramatization, this story might be right up your alley. I'll be honest, another reason I get few results with Caesar is this young fellow doesn't post often. At least, not that my American slash English searches seem to find. Hi and welcome back to Katie's Quarter in Space and a short bonus week 46 video as information on a certain French actor was requested and realized, yeah, I should probably go see what I can find because his on-screen wife has certainly gotten the spotlight a few times and it gives me a chance to share a few other things which just didn't fit into the regular weekly video. And in my search, I found this gem recorded by Hey You Guys just as season six was released last year in which Caesar shares the difference between Outlander reactions in Paris versus LA. I lived in Paris for a while where the show works well, but it's not as big as in America. And I just got back from Los Angeles where the impact is a bit different. It's way much more. He's also happy to have a character he's been able to play for an extended period, which allows him to play an array of emotions. Yeah, and I knew from the beginning that the idea was that Fergus would have a long journey and uh, no, it's rich, man. It's just, it's so rare to have the chance to play someone for so many years. It's, it's amazing. But what I love is his ability to predict the future when we were all questioning whether season seven could be the last. You've done the journey, as it were. Well, I don't think it will be, you know what I mean? I don't feel like it. There's more books, you know, so, so many fans, so many books. It's always spin-offs and stuff, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I think no. I think we're <laughs> sorted. <laughs> Is there wood something? I should knock on wood. Or of course, Richard came up in my last video, so that means it's time for little Sophie, who celebrated her birthday on the 7th and also had a movie release last year in the form of a thriller, Stalker. Returning to an eerily empty hotel after a day of filming, young actress Rose Hepburn finds herself suspended on the 12th floor of an old freight elevator, trapped dangerously high with an unwanted companion. Left with no phone signal as a storm approaches and with no other way to reach hotel staff, tensions escalate and suspicions rise when Rose discovers the identity of the mysterious man is Daniel Reed camera operator who is seemingly obsessed with her. And Sophie posts occasionally, and when she does lately, it's got her pup. And we do all love our pups around here. Another fun bit that came up this week and is worth a share is a celebration of us, the amazing clan of Outlander fans. Yep, we get an update and fun slideshow from the fans of Outlander documentary team featuring that lovely tartan background we're expecting to be able to get soon. And as I'm a fan of purple, I'm excited to see the options. Though my mother sews, I might just see if I can get a yardage amount and see what could be done with it. I'm also, of course, looking forward to the documentary itself. It's always fun to see what fans have come up with to express their passion for a fandom. The imagination and dedication, it's just impressive. I suppose this is a good spot to throw up our channel Droughtlander Survivalist options up. Identify yourself as a survivor of Droughtlander. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. I did not ask you right, any questions in anticipation of this quiz. The 10th of March. 
And Lauren was born the 12th of July. Your birthday is the 7th of March. What did you think my birthday was yesterday? February. <laughs> <laughs> February 20th. He was like, November? January 4th. Same as Gray McTavish. We hang out together. Yeah. We do a little walk. A little walk to the botanicals in Glasgow for oh, coming in Glasgow. Oh, my heart. Goes for runs. I do, do. Plays with Gonzo. Yeah. Ignores everybody on his phone. I do not. Watches 99. Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You've normally scoped out all of the best places to eat. Yeah. Because yeah. you'll have a different one every night. Yeah. So you'll know what's good to have. Yeah, we're not wasting time. She enjoys walks in the park. She enjoys ice cream and a nice pair of slacks. <laughs> <laughs> Hard rap. I play rap music, but what you else? What, what else? What trap else? music. What am I teaching? A little bit of Deep House. Deep oh, house. you're doing Deep House. Yeah, deep you're doing house. That. Yeah, deep you're house. Doing Chicago, music. Detroit, yeah, early yeah. 90s music. Yeah. Yeah. I am such a music person. Like, the sound system is always coming. The sound's always coming out of my trailer. And I am not interested. It is. <laughs> and well, Justin Bieber gets his peaches. We well, get some in Georgia. I know he gets some in Georgia. Have... A lot of my musical taste is quite old school, I think. Really. We're from different decades, aren't we? That's oh, the problem, yeah. really. <laughs> At the moment, you're drinking beers. Yeah, I'm a beer guy now. Yeah, Took me years. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. You enjoy, you enjoy a, little, a little cocktail every now and again, don't you? Every now and again. Yeah, every now and again. Like do a walk in the park without a martini. Down to martini. A or a glass of wine. You have a little prosecco. <laughs> Champagne, please. <laughs> what is that thing you drink there? A cremant? Cremant? <laughs> We're dying every every time we see a puppy. So yeah, like, I really want a puppy now. If you a, a cute puppy, what is the dog you said you wanted the other day? Oh, I kind of want um, a staffy. A staffy. I kind of want a staffy. I just yeah. think they're quite like hench. The cocker spaniel and the Great Dane. Yeah. He is gonna be the best babysitter. I'm gonna for babysitter. Dog sitter. Dog sitter. Sophie. Because Gonzo's gonna have a new best friend. Dog sell. As I head off, let me share three behind the scenes images released last week as well. I love them because of all the smiles, at least in two of them. I will say this, the entire cast seems so pleased to be part of this show and it makes Outlander that much more fun to watch. I've said this about Star Trek, which I also do a weekly-ish update on, and it absolutely holds true for Outlander as well. This is a family who not only seem to be happy to be working, but who love the story almost as much as we do, and they appreciate this amazing opportunity to be involved and it just makes it that much better being a fan. Now, if you'd like to hear more about Outlander or the people who bring it to us, then please enjoy one of these videos and we'll see you there.